everybody, Rocky here inside of the sim room at Travis Point Country Club. Uh, we are in simulator number one, and I want to give everybody at home uh, a good understanding of how to use this awesome technology that we have here with TrackMan. As you all can see on the screen right here, I'm hitting some seven irons to get loose, and there are some squares down here that show you my carry yardage, my path, my face relative to the path, and the face as it pertains to the target line. These, these three, the path, the face to path, and the face angle are, in my opinion, the most important measurements that you can reference when you're in here practicing by yourself. Technology like this is only helpful if you know how to apply it to your game. And today, I wanna to give you a few insights that can help you not only recognize what your face path relationship is, but also some things that you can do in your setup and maybe even in your swing that can help you neutralize the way you deliver the club into the golf ball each time. In a perfect world, zeros here, 0, 0.0 on all three of these would create an absolute straight ball flight right down your target line. I'm pretty close early on with a club path that's only three tenths of a degree from the inside. A face relative to my path that's nine tenths, almost a full degree left of my path. So if you see a negative number here, that means it's left of that number. And then lastly, the face angle here shows what my face angle is relative to my target, not my path. So when you add it all up, these numbers here are gonna end up ultimately equaling this number almost every time. So my path was almost square, a little bit to the right. My face relative to the target was a little bit to the left. And because my path was a little right and my face was a little left, the face to path is more left than the face to my target line. So I'm gonna hit another shot here and see if we can't create something that is perfectly neutral. If we can create 0, 0.0 on all three of those folks, I might be taking an early trip home. And I have an alignment rod here along my feet to show all of you that I am setting up perfectly square to my intended target. Not quite. I was a degree from the inside. My face, instead of having a minus there, has a, an even number. So my path, or my face to my path was one degree right of my path. Well, my path was a degree to the right. My face was a degree right of that path. So relative to my perfect target line, my face was two degrees to the right. One and one gets me that two number. These numbers are always gonna end up kind of adding up together as you go. And you'll see the ball started a little right and because the face was open to both my target line and my path, the ball traveled more to the right. So if I want to hit a ball more to the left, if you're a slicer or a fader of the golf ball and you wanted to hit the ball more left without changing your path, you would incorporate more forearm rotation, more club face rotation that would make this club face start to point more to the left. So I'm gonna try to hit a shot now where I'm pretty neutral with my path, but I'm gonna let my arms work a little bit more aggressively and see if I can't make this ball move left. Square to my target with my feet, knees, hips, and shoulders. I'm just going to let my arm speed pick up a little bit. That's pretty solid. There you go. Instinctually for myself, when I want to hit the ball left, I start swinging more from the inside. It's a habit I have. A lot of other players have tendencies to go more from the inside or outside depending on their style. But I was 
2.6 degrees to the right with my path, 4.8 degrees left of that path, which leaves me 2.2 degrees left of my target, all adding up to a shot that went about 10 yards to the left. So for you at home who maybe aren't able to coordinate your arm movement as easily as, as I may be able to or others, here are a couple things that you can do to get your path a little bit more to the inside. And it starts with your setup. As many of you may know by now, I'm a big fan of creating my variable statically at address instead of trying to make a swing change. I like to make a setup change. So as you can see here, I'm now aiming some margin to the right and I'm gonna put my, my feet on this line I'm effectively pointing more back and to the right with my body instead of being square to the golf ball. I'm gonna point the club face right at the target while my body is pointing to the right of the target. My feet, my knees, my hips, my, my feet, knees, and shoulders are all pointing well right. I'm gonna make a swing that's gonna be very far from the inside now because I'm creating a setup that creates a more inside delivery without me changing anything in my swing. This ball should curve a lot from right to left. Right down the center line. We'll take that. If you're an inside player and you want to try to neutralize that inside path to square up both path and face, you can do what I'm doing right now, which is aiming now more left. Again, keeping the club face still pointing at my target. So I, I set up a little bit more left with my feet, my knees, and my shoulders. And the ball position moves just a little bit forward as I do that. Now we're going to see a path that's a negative number, substantially. And the ball should curve left to right. There we go. Could have done a whole lot better than that. A path that's seven, almost eight degrees left. A face that's five over five degrees right of that path. Ultimately leads me to a club face that's two and a half degrees left of my target line, and largely because my path was so far to the left. So what I did is I went from square Ultimately, in a, in a zero point something face angle or path angle square to closed, which creates more of a plus path or an inside or an inside delivery with more face rotation to the left and a bigger drawing hooking type shot. positive numbers the inside, all the way over to the path and the path that's more left and a face that's more right of that path. Everything lining up left except for the face on my target line. And now I'm hitting a left to right shot as I've done here. So I didn't change my swing from one to the next. I changed my setup to neutralize my path deficiencies if I had one, or just to create more curvature from right to left or left to right. One last reminder, the more you aim left, the more the face is going to end up pointing right. The more you aim right, the more the face rotates and points left. So as you make these tweaks, you're going to see that the, the path, the face to path, and the face angle in total will start to change a little bit versus your normal. Try out these little setup changes. Tinker with your ball position to, to get your best strike and your best flight. And come see us in the golf shop if you ever need some help making all these numbers look more to your liking. Good luck.